Belong bang Iwan. Ben Diman. Naga Gorman. Oh, dia dan kat tu kat ni ke ba? Ini lah hun. Henry Kemin. Kebang impak semuhun. Kedai halor suspension. Ya gitu ki pulut ki badan keti. Kam tam ya u DSP. Au u SP jang ke East Giant Hills. Bar kemju ru jang u DSP. DSP jang ke East. SP. City in charge. SP sya sya DSP. SP Shillong City in charge. Ah, kita belong ke kemat, kita bayar lama dengan tim, berlek bana bersiap siap ya ibarat syirah sampai dengan kencing tiapang. Tapi hari ini begini, kat kum kencing kerana jengi berka berkiha sarkar, hak kencing lama dengan chief minister. Ini ada kerencai, bangim hun ya kene, haladaf him pat ayah ke suspension ya kene. Kemar kita gimin, kita dengan keti ya kene kat kam. Tengah kali yang tengah kali yang kencingi, ini stick ya kene. Nampak lada lapan sahaja ni kene, kacang suk kacang sain kan one hak pok kacang mulai, kacang suk kacang kacang sain kan one hak pok ke East Coast Hills, but hak ke Rihasi jenjaya hi berakui. Tapi ni kedai kedai demands kebang empat hun, but ni kerana penting kenal orang ni apa nak kalian kejungi. Ni ayuar ya ke serkar, si tayo lada kampal lap benle ya kene kebentang kemud nak kalian kejungi ru, minum lap ban ong ee, ya kiki ee kibe mi hadian jangka ta. Kui kastur baik, kastur jang kini mulai. Ti kejungan kejungi orang ni. Ini bukan syai mo. Iwan bukan stop mid bed yang tuh kiri jingkawa yang kejungi. Iwan bukan stop mid yang tuh jingkawa yang nomor dom kabelah simrai. Hak kejengilang kaba menin kesi. Hak ui baje hang saya pol mulai mendaki kiri indoor sports mo yang kah. Bat ngilayo bukan ia pensnow. Ya kita tuh kiri jingkawa nak kalian kistur memulai kejungi. Bat kam tam eh ke point kaba kemat do kelong ba. Kasar kerja lah, kadai ban suspensua, ya itu kulit, iba, inbol, ya ketuk kencing siap siap, ya iba sih, kalai terik. Nomor ni iba kasar kar, haduk mentah, tak kena sim lale, ya itu kulit, kibla, siap siap, kibla, kela kita kinong penyak brio. Bila orang ya kasar kar, bakal kadai ban penyak kis siki, hake criminal kis. Bangil orang ya kasar karu, balai ba, kasar spend penban, ya itu kipulit kasih kijungi. Kita syak ni itu kak, ya satu kali hang tu pok mulai mengkontrol. Tapi apa juga kapor usia mahaba u ajing keren nak kalian kejung u ulah panpor penpan nangi lay benai ulah orang penpan pan ipor bah kandon ke inquiry apa lay benai bah ingin sayo pan simpat ikira pan le eh habi day pun kita berhenti. Ini nila keren mana three months for three minute shoot. Nila orang mo, three months for three minutes shoot. Okay. Ay ba kata ka kata ka inquiry kan kan yat in their own post. Henry ni ba ngkua ba kani ka kam kadi ban pentet no na kaliang kasorkar ba kadi ban sustain no what what siya yung kini kibrio kipulit kibodong kiti kibab penyap ibak siya kato kusni akak kalay terik. Kanang ba? Kanum don, kanu kanu ka 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 tampa, nene ka jingno silang, nene ban ban leksi yang lama dong ban ban moni ban 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 moni don nak nak kalian ke komen, tapi dia bukan inquiry. Dia dia nak ni kata bukan ban kan don kata ke fair trial bukan don kata ke fair inquiry. Suspense wano, ya kiri kiri, boleh kita dong kiri kita penyap, ya kita siap kita light trick. The uh, headmen of Maulai area and a uh, few of the leaders from different organizations, uh, NGOs, were also present in the meeting. Uh, in the meeting, they have uh, presented a memorandum where they have uh, uh, put down a few of the points and the resolutions that were taken up in yesterday's meeting in Maulai among the headmen and the organizations there. So that memorandum was submitted to us. In that memorandum, there were about four or five points that they had mentioned. Number one was regarding uh, suspension of the individuals involved in the incident that took place on 13th. Number two, uh, regarding the uh, deployment of central forces. Uh, number three, regarding the maintenance services and the uh, curfew that is on. And number four, regarding uh, shifting of the um, CRPF camp that is there uh, temporary, which was supposed to be temporary out there. All these uh, aspects, many of the members spoke in detail, and they expressed their concerns. 
and uh, as a government we have noted down all the concerns that they had we have informed them that uh, uh, the curfew has already been uh, lifted for few hours and as we observe the situation we will further relax it we have also ensured that the internet will start by 6 today in the evening because we understand that uh, a lot of students uh, and youth are especially uh, are suffering and uh, regarding the camp also we have told them that this was never uh, a permanent camp but uh, for a long time that camp has been uh, placed out there and uh, appropriate steps to change that location the process has started and um, the crpf has also indicated to us in a positive manner that they also would like to get a permanent location so it's a win win situation for both sides so the process has started and uh, we will be shifting the camp from there uh, after the procedure and process is done and at the same time uh, obviously infrastructure also has to be created for the crpf uh, in the new location wherever they are placed uh, regarding the issue of um, action against the individuals who were involved uh, we have informed all the members that a judicial inquiry has been set up and this judicial inquiry will look into all the details of uh, this particular incident that took place on 13th and uh, we have uh, asked the meghalaya human rights commission chairperson justice pai pai to head this judicial inquiry so therefore uh, uh, him being the chairman of the meghalaya human rights commission and also being the uh, chairperson of this inquiry committee it will be <coughs> serving both the purposes uh, from the human rights aspect and also ensuring that this judicial inquiry uh, is given complete freedom and independence and full power to look into all aspects of this particular case and based on that we have also mentioned and informed all the members that only once the reports come into us only when we find out the details only then will it be able to identify who were responsible for what action and only then will it be possible for us to take uh, action in terms of suspension or any other kind of extreme order or action that has to be taken and that the government is committed to doing that but once the judicial inquiry report comes in giving us all details of the case uh apart from that the uh, uh they also mentioned about uh, different actions being taken so we will uh, look into that aspect we told them that the government uh, will examine all options and the government will take a call so we have asked them to to leave that to the uh, wisdom of the of the government but as i said that uh, the judicial inquiry has been set up and we are confident that uh, very soon the report will come and based on that report we will take necessary action apart apart from that uh, they have also uh, mentioned about the fact that uh, that uh, in the part in that uh, that in the future uh, these kind of uh, uh, you know raids or this kind of uh, operations should be done in close coordination with also the headmen so we have informed all of them that yes accordingly appropriate procedures will always be uh, uh, will be followed and in the future also we will ensure that more steps are taken in order to take people into confidence uh, in such cases in the future also uh, and then at the end <coughs> we have appealed to uh, the headmen and all the uh, leaders who have come from all different organizations that they must work together with the government because it is in the interest large interest of the people of Shillong city and the state as a whole that we have peace and we should all work together to move forward to ensure that there is uh, peace in the city and in the state so they have stuck to the point saying that uh, this is what uh, the demand and the resolution yesterday was passed so they have uh, expressed again was the end that they would want suspension and we have maintained that uh, only it is only when we have the uh, report with us which informs us that who is responsible for what only then action can be taken against the individuals so that was the uh, have they agreed to be in this uh, peace committee uh, no they have not agreed to, uh, as of now in order to clarify all doubts uh, we have uh, cons- constituted a judicial uh, inquiry this is under the commissions of inquiry act so this is a very very powerful body and it is completely independent and therefore uh, this would be the appropriate forum 
uh, or the inquiry, uh, inquiry uh, to look into this aspect. And uh, keeping all those aspects in mind, that's the reason why we have formed this judicial.